Now to new developments in the impeachment inquiry involving President Trump. Today, the director of national intelligence testified on Capitol Hill about a whistleblower's complaint, and the president had something to say about it. What these guys are doing, Democrats are doing to this country, is a disgrace, and it shouldn't be allowed. Whatever other explanation there might be, an explanation is also that it is a cover-up. And this is, the president has been engaged in a cover-up all along. Six committees will be looking into this whistleblower complaint, which claims the president used his power to solicit interference from a foreign country in the 2020 election. Our chief capital reporter Susan Raff has the latest on today's hearing and why what the public thinks is important here. The acting director of national intelligence says it was not his role to decide if allegations in a whistleblower complaint were credible. I'm in no I, position well, to tell the chair or the I, committee to do an investigation okay. or not do an investigation. I, I, the complaint alleges President Trump, in a phone call with Ukraine's leader, urged him to investigate Joe Biden and his son to influence the 2020 election. President Trump responded on his way back to the White House from the United Nations. It's another witch hunt. Here we go again. It's uh, Adam Schiff and his crew making up stories. But Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal says this is about U.S. security. The president seeking corrupt assistance from a foreign leader to aid his presidential, personal, political gain is beyond the pale. Some are comparing what we are seeing now to the impeachment proceedings against President Nixon. Former Governor Lowell Weicker was a U.S. senator on the Watergate Committee investigating Nixon. He gained national attention when he became the first Republican senator to call for Nixon's resignation. This will be an interesting political process. Bilal Saku, a political science professor at the University of Hartford, will share some insight this Sunday on Face the State. He says at this point, Republicans are supporting the president, but that could change. The game changer on this is really where the public stands on this. I imagine if the president's supporters begin to abandon him, Republicans who are really fearful of being primaried and challenged and possibly losing their job may begin to, you know, switch sides. President Trump is now saying he may consider releasing all contacts between his administration and the Ukraine to prove he's done nothing wrong. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.